What is the worst movie you've ever seen? No, I'm not talking about this movie or that movie. I mean a movie so bad, so fundamentally broken, that it leaves a pit in your stomach or makes you feel frustrated and angry beyond any reasonable measure. This is a question I've been asking myself for a while, and I think it's about time to do something about it. So I pulled up the list of the bottom 100 lowest rated movies on IMDb, and I'm going through them one by one to find the worst movie ever. Welcome to the search for the worst. The Little Panda Fighter is the worst thing in the history of anything ever. I mean, I don't think I've seen an animated movie with such lazy animation and plot structure before. And why the hell does everyone talk so fast all the time? I don't get it, what's the point? Did they like have a time limit on how long they had in the recording studio? Who knows, this film sucks. Well, when they're not talking so fast that your brain barely has enough time to comprehend what's just been said, they slow down and take really long, awkward, Pauses. Oh, I bet you're confused out of your mind right now. What am I talking about? What is this movie? Well, I'm afraid this video's over now. See ya. No, but really, this is The Little Panda Fighter. The worst animated movie I've ever seen in my entire life. And yes, it is worse than Food Fight. You bet your box top! I could chat indefinitely about everything that's wrong with this film, so instead let me just show you why it's so fucking substandard. Yep, yeah, this is the kind of quality we're dealing with here. Oh, sorry, Mr. Polaris. I guess I must have drifted off for a second. It won't happen again, sir, I promise. I'll get this floor done in no time. This is what I mean by the ghastly, stilted way they talk. Seemingly at complete random, they talk like this. <laughs> wow. Maybe they really did see me dancing and I didn't know it. It's so fast that you have no idea what they're really saying. Lucky he's wearing a mask. That way no one will know who he is when he inevitably bites the stuff. Bites the stuff. 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 Ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> It's like the voice actor needed the toilet really bad, so he splurted out his terrible dialogue as quickly as possible to get to the shitter before an accident occurred. <laughs> no, but seriously, the way these freaky monsters talk is actually pretty difficult to replicate. I reckon it would be harder to act the way they do in the movie on purpose than it would be to just put a bit of effort in and voice act properly. I'll stay here and plot the imminent demise of old Thunderbutt himself! That jerk, that... Jerk. I think it goes without saying that the animation is so lazy that it's actually pretty insulting. I want to stress that the way I edit this might actually make it look so bad that it's good. And I do admit it does have its moments here and there. <laughs> but the structure is so bizarre, so untraditional, so... Shit. That the only reason I'm not more angry than I already am is because it's only 50 minutes long. Can that even be considered a movie? Well, apparently 40 minutes is the minimum time required to be classed as a feature, according to the American and British Film Institute. But I don't really care what they think. Tell them that Richard Linklater directed it and they'd probably say this film's an ironic masterclass in satire and political commentary. Hmm? Hmm? You better watch yourself, Pancata. You better watch yourself, Pancata. Look, this film is clearly dubbed, hence why the mouth sinking is all over the goddamn place. It probably also explains why they speak so quickly or slowly at random times, to sort of try and make it fit. Yes, after. Well, you see, I had to handle some personal private business. And uh, speaking of personal private business, I have to handle some personal business right now, privately, so I gotta go. Nothing personal. Sorry about that, and uh, I'll see you later, okay? Bye. But like... This is fucking dreadful. Most of the movie takes place in this tiny building called the Bear Bar Box. It's a bar, obviously, but there's also a boxing ring where bears fight. Well, I'd argue they aren't even really bears. They kind of look like mutant creatures with a slight resemblance of bear features sometimes, kind of. Is this some kind of alternate bear universe? Why is it just bears? Is this thing supposed to be a bear? I guess, but I don't know. <laughs> Hey look, he's fighting a Care Bear. I guess that's funny because Care Bear. Reference. Although, weirdly enough, there is a surprising lack of bear puns. Or just puns in general. Come on, movie, if Cars 2 and like every other shitty animated movie can do it, you can too. Look, I'm, I'm sorry in advance for this bit, but you just need to bear with me here. I just need to get this out of my system. Tee hee. To tell the truth, I only barely made it to the end of this movie. Do you think Bear Grills could help me finish this video? That would be cool, wouldn't it? Because my dad has a New Zealand accent, he calls beer, bear. Like, hey, would you like a bear? Okay, that's all I got, let's move on. Why do the pecs on this polar bear thing, like, bend and fold over? Is that intentional? 
That's kind of gross. So the polar bear and this little snot bear are sat at a table talking about how they're fed up of this guy always winning the boxing matches because it's so predictable so no one comes to the bar to watch it anymore. And then the polar bear is all like, What I wouldn't do to get back in the ring. I'd show that thunder chump a thing or two. But the brown one says, Oh no, you couldn't do that because that would go against the contract. What is going on? I thought this was a kid's movie. Why, why is this about a bear universe where bears fight in boxing rings? Why did I buy five copies of this on DVD. That's probably a huge waste of money, wasn't it? Oh well. Hey, here's a fun fact for you. Everything about this movie is a lie! First off, the DVD cover has better artwork than the final movie. Well, that's embarrassing, because it looks shit. And what's with all these rocky formations and Chinese building in the background? It's kind of fishy. Okay, let's stop beating around the fucking bush here. This movie is a cynical piece of trash that was rushed out to capitalize off the popularity of Kung Fu Panda. It honest to God even says, not Kung Fu Panda in the title listing on Amazon. I'm serious, it's confused that many people. How? I don't even know. Covers don't even look that similar. I was about to ask why the hell is this a PG? Why would you need parental guidance for this? But I can almost guarantee they manipulated the board just so the DVD was even more mistakable for the real Kung Fu Panda one. If you somehow managed to explore your way into the deepest, darkest depths of IMDb to find any information on this movie, it even says in the very description, Video Brinquedo brings us a rip-off of Kung Fu Panda. It's in the first line. It's the first thing they say. Oh, what's this? Another film that the same animation studio made? Robozinhos. Now, if my Portuguese is up to snuff, I believe that translates to tiny robots. Well, let's see what it says in the description to find out what happens. This is a shitty movie about a dumb thing. This is the actual listing of the movie. The company gives this little of a fuck that they let some public description that describes their movie as shitty, straight up, no sugarcoating, just exist and be freely available. I feel like I almost need to give them props because this is un fucking leaveable I got all five of these mothers from the local Poundland. I bought every single copy I could find because I didn't want anyone to experience this film by accident like they intend. You see all these people in the YouTube community talking about PewDiePie and your Markiplier's giving loads of money to charity and all that, but then there's me doing a fucking civil service for all the people of our world, trying to erase the existence of the little panda fighter for all you families out there, you innocent families. And what do I get in return? I get called an assaholic bitch. A lovable, clumsy panda bear has dreams of becoming a great dancer? Since when was this established? I'm not sure if you can tell, but the background here is the complete wrong resolution, and it's all pixelated and ugly looking. Fit for viewing by persons generally. You know, I I'd have to disagree with that. This movie deserves to be erased from history. Hey Dick, you know what to do. You use my power in one day, you will play. Oh, cool. I didn't realize you could eradicate matter from time and space. <laughs> you're the best, Dick. No, not, not like you're my favorite penis, but his name is Dick. That's his name, okay? It's just Dick. Where the hell was I? What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. This, this fraud, fraud of a of movie. movie. It's kind of like if the creature from The Thing tried to replicate a copy of Kung Fu Panda, but it was just a little bit brain dead and stupid, so it created a monster movie from hell. Well, he is very popular. Why did he say it like that? That's so weird. Well, he is very popular. See, it's not hard. It really isn't. Your mind wanders all over the place. My mind is wandering to the mental asylum thanks to these terrible movies. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, you're talking about the value of money, right? What is he doing? I thought he wanted to be a dancer. Seriously, I, I have no idea what's happening right now. So the polar bear eventually decides to dress up in an outfit so he can fight the guy who always wins and they're fed up with. So more people will come to his bar because the bear boxing matches will be more interesting. Ow. Ow. Uh, my brain. What is the point of this? Why is this so contrived? It's supposed to be about pandas and adventure. Why is there boxing? Uh-oh. The fucking stupid dunce of a panda. I mean... The lovable clumsy panda bear is washing the polar bear's clothes, but makes them shrink. 
Looks like it shrunk a little. So when the polar bear puts them on, it makes him look like a panda. Ugh, gross, that's so fucking weird. Oh no, I hope everyone doesn't mistake him for the lovable clumsy panda main character. That would be a right old mess. <laughs> the polar bear wins the fight, but everyone thinks it was the asshole panda douche. So because of this, everyone starts treating him like a superstar. But get this, he doesn't feel like he deserves the attention, as he should. So he tells the polar bear that next time, he wants to fight for real, to prove that his unearned attention can really be earned. Get out! I'll be one in the ring, see? Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you see, I want to be the one to fight Teddy Thunders. What? Completely fucking flawless thought process, I know. So after a cringy scene where he dances in front of a bunch of judges, completely out of nowhere, and ends it by diving through a set of double doors into a black empty abyss, Okay. There's a fucking painful training montage that seemingly never ends. <laughs> because they keep using the same shots over and over. Because that's... Everyone loves seeing that, and also because... Everything in this film is ASS DICK! Surprise surprise, he gets totally fucking wrecked and loses the fight. Teaching all the kids out there that if you ever get unearned fame, you should never go back and try to earn it legitimately, because you'll fail horribly. So believe it or not, we're pretty much at the end of the movie now. It's been quite an adventure, hasn't it? But we have one last, inexplicable, truly amazing because movie moment left to go through. So this is the climax of the film. The disappointed panda right after losing the fight goes back to the polar bear, and the polar bear says that he knew he was going to lose all along because he was fully aware that he's a fat clumsy panda bear who can't fight. So he bet all of his money against him, leaving him extremely rich in the end. So that means you're rich! <laughs> in fact, I'm about the richest man in the whole city. I'm about the richest man in the whole city. I'm about the richest man in the whole city. So he gives over the bar to the panda dude and then takes a briefcase that's packed full of money to Antarctica to do to do whatever the fuck he does, I don't know, something. Is it just me, or is this quite a villainous thing to do? It's like the usual suspects, we've been played, everybody! This film is actually genius! No, not really. It's shit. But if I was to give it any kind of praise, it's at least so bizarre that it's completely unpredictable. So to round everything off, the panda changes the boxing place into a dance place. And there's a dance the end. <laughs> Ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> you see, kid? The little panda fighter, ironically, is a huge panda lie! For one, he's definitely not little. He's a fully grown panda. Two, he's really not much of a fighter. I mean, he just gets his ass kicked in the one fight he does. And three, I think even calling him a panda is even disputable. He's more of a demon creature imitating a panda in my eyes. Look, I mean, what is there to even say about this? This really is the bare minimum effort you can put into an animated movie. Written over the course of an afternoon, rushed into production purely to be on shelves around the same time as the movie they're riding on the coattails of. It really is quite insulting. Perhaps if you were smashed enough, you could probably probably find ample in this garbage to at least find some kind of ironic entertainment out of it. Although, I personally have to advise against it. I guess because this film is so short, and I did get some unintentional laughs out of it, I can't put it too low on the list. I found it to be more objectively terrible than even Food Fight. I mean, all you have to do is look at it. Look at it. Oh wait, I just thought of one more. This film is completely fucking unbearable. And up next in the search for the worst is... Just keep breathing. Just keep breathing and I'll make him. I'll make it. Right? So those are my thoughts on the fucking awful movie, The Little Panda Fighter. So what did you think of the video? Have you seen the movie before? Did you like or dislike it? Whatever it is, tell me in the comments below. Uh, below. I don't know why I said it like that. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and second channel Jar Media for more content. I'll see you next time. Bye.